So, in the last lecture, what we have done is the we have initially talked about the application of Fourier transform for solving the partial differential equations. We have provided the criteria under which criteria, under which condition I should use Fourier transform, I should use Fourier cosine transform, or I should use the Fourier sine transform. And we solved one problem on that Fourier cosine using Fourier cosine transform. Let me just quickly go through that problem again, so that I can explain it to you. Uh, we want to find out the solution of the PDE using Fourier cosine transform. The function is equation is del u del t equals k del to u del x square, where x lies between 0 to infinity and with u x 0 equals 0 and del u del x equals minus mu, which is a constant. Also, u and del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. So, the conditions whatever is provided and since x approaches uh, 0 to infinity, therefore, we will use the Fourier cosine transform. So, what you are doing basically whenever the problem is given, you use the Fourier applied Fourier cosine transform on both side of the given equation. So, once I am applying the Fourier cosine transform on the both side of the given equation root over 2 y pi will come 0 to infinity del u del t cos of alpha x d x equals k into root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity del to u del x square cos of alpha x d x. Now, the left hand side is nothing but del u del t is there. So, d d t I can bring outside because you are taking Fourier cosine transform with respect to x and 0 to infinity if you see if del del t that is d d t I am bringing outside the uh, integration sign, then it will become d d t into root over 2 by pi d d t of root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity u cos of alpha x d x and this integral 0 to infinity u cos of alpha x d x is nothing but cosine transform of u. For this reason on the left hand side we have written d d t of u bar c which is equals to here I am breaking the integral using by parts and after that using the condition that del u del x equals minus mu when x equals 0 and del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. Using these two conditions I am obtaining this integral. So, that from here you can again break the integral and ultimately I am obtaining an equation like this. So, you are obtaining the equation d u bar c by d t plus k alpha square u bar c equals root over 2 by pi k mu. So, please note that using the Fourier cosine transform, the given second order P d is transformed into an first order O d. So, this is the first step where you are converting the second order P d into the first order O d using ordinary differential use, uh, equation using the Fourier cosine transform and the solution of this I can find out just we have written integrating factor. I am not going through this because this is simple one and already you have done all these things. So, ultimately you are obtaining u bar c equals a e power uh, minus k alpha square t in plus root over 2 by pi mu by alpha square. So, this is your second step u bar c you are obtaining. Now, you have to find out the value of the constant a. To find the value of the constant a, we know that at t equals 0, u equals 0. Therefore, if you take the Fourier cosine transform, then I can say that at t equals 0, u bar c will also be 0. And using this condition, I can obtain the value of a as minus root over 2 by pi mu by alpha square, where u bar c is I am obtaining this. So, this is your second step where you are finding the solution of the given ODE. Now, the third step is once I obtained u bar c in terms of alpha and t, I can using the inverse Fourier cosine transform, I can find out the value of u x t. u x t will be equals to using inversion formula root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity u bar c into cos of alpha x d alpha and I have to evaluate the integral. I am just keeping it like this. So, the 
result becomes 2 mu by pi 0 to infinity cos of alpha x by alpha square into 1 minus e power minus k alpha square t into d alpha. Further I can evaluate it, I am leaving it for you because this integration is easy to solve and you can find out the ultimate value. So, we will leave this integral position itself from where you can find the complete solution of u x t. Now, so you see the earlier problem we have done it using the Fourier cosine transform. Now, next problem the similar problem equation would be similar, but we want to solve it using Fourier sine transform del u del t equals del 2 u del x square x greater than 0 t greater than 0 u 0 t equals 0 when t greater than 0 and u x 0 equals 1 if x lies between 0 to 1 otherwise for x greater than equals 1 it is 1 and u and del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. Although here both x and t are greater than 0, but from the condition specially from the condition that del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity regarding t nothing has been told de about del u del t. So, we have to use the Fourier sine transform with respect to the function x not t. So, please note this one that al although both x and t their range varies from 0 to infinity, but actually what happens from the initial conditions we are finding that the del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity is given. Therefore, it is desirable to use the Fourier sine transform with respect to x not with respect to t, because if we try to solve it using with respect to t we will not able to provide values of certain parameters. For this reason we will use the Fourier cosine transform sorry Fourier sine transform with respect to the variable x. Let us see the solution process now. So, we are applying here we apply Fourier sine transform I am just writing it as f s t with respect to the variable x on the given equation that is del u del t on your equation is del u del t equals del to u del x square. This is the given equation. So, you take Fourier sine transform with respect to x on this particular variable on this particular equation. So, that root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity will come del u del t into since with respect to x therefore, uh, sin. So, it will be sin alpha x into d x. This is equals on the right side it will be root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity del 2 u del x square into sin of alpha x into d x. Since we are differentiating with respect to x sorry we are taking the Fourier sine transform with respect to x. Therefore, on the left hand side del del t can come outside and once del del t is coming outside your integration is 0 to infinity u sin alpha x d x and that is nothing but from definition u bar s. So, that this we can write down this implies d d t of u bar s this is equals to now I have to integrate the right hand side integral using by parts. So, directly I am writing it first part will be del u del x into sin of alpha x 0 to infinity minus alpha into 0 to infinity del u del x into cos of alpha x into d x this you will get and the value of this integral this particular part if you note del u del x at at the lower limit this parameter vanishes del u del x sin alpha x vanishes and if you should note one thing that from the given condition del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. So, therefore, whenever you are putting the limiting value for 
infinity, then also this term will vanish. So, overall this term will vanish for both 0 and infinity. So, first term will be vanishing over here. So, that you will obtain root over 2 by pi minus alpha into 0 to infinity cos of alpha x into del u del x dx. So, again use by parts over here root over 2 by pi into minus alpha into this will be u cos of alpha x 0 to infinity minus alpha square will come 0 to infinity u into sin of alpha x dx. So, after integration by parts you will obtain this. Please note that u approaches 0 as x approaches infinity, u approaches 0 as x approaches infinity over here and also the value is 0. Therefore, this part will be 0 and so this becomes minus alpha square into into this is nothing but u bar root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity u sin of alpha x dx is nothing but u bar s. So, this you are obtaining this. So, therefore, what you are obtaining your partial differential equation this one is converted into an ordinary differential equation which is d u bar d t plus alpha square u bar s equals 0. So, I am writing the ordinary differential equation now d u bar s d t plus alpha square u bar s this is equals to 0 and the solution of this one directly you can write down u bar s equals a into e power minus alpha square t. So, where a is the constant of integration the constant parameter. So, now I have to find out the value of a. What I have to do at t equals 0 let us see what happens. What is the value of this u bar alpha 0? Because u bar s alpha t is given as this one. So, what is the value of u bar s alpha 0? So, if I put the condition from the definition root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity u x 0 into sin of alpha x into u x 0 into sin of alpha x dx. Now, if you see u x 0 has been defined already in the question u x 0 is 1 whenever x lies between 0 to 1 and for x greater than equals 1 it is 0 it is given. Therefore, this integral actually I can break it into two parts root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity sorry 0 to 1 u x 0 is 1. So, you will obtain sin alpha x into d x plus root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity 0 into u x 0 is 0. So, it will be 0 into sin alpha x d x. So, this second term vanishes over here. So, the integration of this is root over 2 by pi into minus cos of alpha x by alpha where it lies between 0 to 1 and if I put the value I will obtain root over 2 by pi 1 minus cos of cos alpha 1 minus cos alpha divided by alpha. So, at t equals 0 I am obtaining u bar s equals this. So, if I substitute it in this given equation now on this equation if I substitute this condition then I can find out the value of a. Please note that t is 0 means this term will vanish e power minus alpha square t will be uh, 1 whenever it is uh, t at t equals 0. So, that I can write down my a as root over 2 by pi into 1 minus cos of alpha divided by alpha. So, once I obtain the value of a, so I can derive now my u bar s as root over 2 by pi into 
1 minus cos alpha by alpha into e power minus alpha square t. So, this is my second part is over. Once I have obtained u bar s in terms of alpha and t, now I can write down u x t using the inverse sign transform. So, that it will be root over 2 by pi is already there, 2 by pi will be now coming 0 to infinity 1 minus cos alpha by alpha into e power minus alpha square t into sin of alpha x d alpha and you can evaluate this integral and you can obtain the result. So, we are leaving as I have told you earlier, we are leaving this uh, in this integration part which you can do it of your own. So, the third part becomes u x t equals this particular integral. So, let us see the problem was this one. So, I am taking Fourier sign transform on both side of the given equation. I am writing this from here the left hand side is nothing but d d t of u bar s and the right hand side I have to evaluate. So, I am evaluating there I am using one condition del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. So, that the first term whenever you will put the limit 0 and infinity the first term will vanish you will have only the uh, second term that is the integral again use by parts and integrate it here again the first term will vanish using the condition u approaches 0 as x approaches infinity and they are alpha square. So, you will obtain minus alpha square and this integral is nothing but u bar. So, that you are obtaining the ordinary differential equation as this whose solution is simple a e power minus alpha square t. To find the value of a I am finding at t equals 0 what is the value of u bar s alpha 0. Please note that this particular condition is not provided in the question. In the solution we are just finding the value of this u bar alpha 0 by evaluating the integral using the definition of Fourier sign transform. And the function u x 0 we know what is the value this is 1 whenever it is 0 to 1 and 1 to infinity it is 0. So, that second integral vanishes and after evaluation we are getting u bar s alpha 0 as this function of alpha. Therefore, I can write down a equals this and from here u bar s I am obtaining as a function of alpha t and if I evaluate now I will obtain the u x t that is u x t equals this quantity 2 by pi 0 to infinity 1 minus cos alpha by alpha into e power minus alpha square t into sin alpha x d alpha and if I evaluate the integral I can tell about the what is the value of u x t. I am leaving it for you which you can evaluate of your own. Now, let us see the another problem del u del t equals 2 del 2 u del x square similar problem just we are giving some problem. So, that you can better understand how to find out the solution. Here it is x greater than 0 and t greater than 0 with u 0 t equals 0 and when t greater than 0 u x 0 is provided as e power minus x and u and del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. So, as you have seen in the previous problem whenever we are considering the Fourier sign transform then one term will be coming del u del x and the value of del u del x should be known as x approaches infinity otherwise I cannot evaluate it. Therefore, for this problem also to find the solution I have to use the Fourier sign transform with respect to the function uh, with respect to x only. So, what we are doing your equation is given as del u del t this is a special case 2 into del 2 u del x square. Now, you apply Fourier sign transform with respect to x. So, once I am applying Fourier sign transform with respect to with respect to x, then you will obtain root over 2 by pi 
left hand side is same 0 to infinity del u del t into sin of alpha x d x. This is equals 2 into root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity del 2 u del x square into sin alpha x d x. So, the left hand side again will be d d t of u bar s and the right hand side if I evaluate the integral by parts I will obtain the first one del u del x into sin of alpha x 0 to infinity minus alpha into 0 to infinity del u del x into cos of alpha x d x. So, once I am obtaining this, this equals again the first part will vanish as del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. The first term will vanish for the second term you will have 2 into root over 2 by pi 2 into root over 2 by pi into minus alpha into 0 to infinity del u del x into cos of alpha x d x. So, if I evaluate this thing then using the similar process I can obtain the result as 2 alpha square u bar s. Please note that u 0 t has been provided as u 0 t equals 0 and u approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. I am using this condition in evaluating this integral u 0 t is 0 and u approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. Using this I can obtain the value of this integral as minus twice alpha square u bar s. Same thing I explained in the earlier example. So, that directly I have written the result. So, that now your ordinary differential equation becomes this thing d u bar s d t plus twice alpha square u bar s this is equals to 0 and the solution of this is sorry not twice, but some constant a into e power minus 2 alpha square t. So, the solution is u bar s equals a into e power minus 2 alpha square t. Now, I have to find out the value of this a the same way that is at t equals 0 at t equals 0 what is the value of u bar alpha 0 u s bar alpha 0. So, this is equals root over 2 by pi 0 to infinity u x 0 sin of alpha x into d x and this value is given as u x 0 is given as e power minus x into sin alpha x d x. And if I evaluate this integral e power minus x sin alpha x this is again a standard one you can check it I am writing the result directly 1 plus alpha square into minus sin of alpha x minus alpha cos of alpha x ranges from 0 to infinity the value of x lies from 0 to infinity. If I evaluate this integral I will obtain alpha plus 1 by alpha square into root over 2 by pi. So, once I am obtaining this therefore, you can write down your a as this one root over 2 by pi alpha by alpha square plus 1 and if I substitute it in the given equation my u bar s now becomes root over 2 by pi alpha by 1 plus alpha square into e power minus twice alpha square t. And once I have obtained u bar s in terms of alpha and t, we can find out what is our u x t. u x t will be 2 by pi 0 to infinity alpha sin of alpha x by 1 plus alpha square into e power minus twice alpha square t into d alpha. And you can evaluate this integral of your own whenever we use this thing. So, just let us check it quickly. 
So, the problem was this I am using Fourier sign transform on both sides with respect to x. Once I am using the Fourier sign transform with respect to x, I will obtain this value. So, d d t of u bar s is equals to 2 into root over 2 by pi into sin alpha x 0 to infinity minus alpha 0 to infinity del u del x into cos of alpha x d x. And using the condition del u del x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity, if I the first term that is this limiting term will be vanishing where you are putting the limits a of x as from 0 to infinity. So, only the second integral will be there. So, I have written this integral and again if you evaluate it then this uh, I will integration by parts I will obtain this one. And again the limiting value of the first term will be vanishing as we know u 0 t equals 0. So, that at x equals 0 it becomes 0 and u approaches 0 as x approaches infinity therefore, first term vanishes and for the second term the integral is nothing but the u bar s. So, that u it becomes minus twice alpha square into u bar s. So, that your differential equation now becomes d u bar s d t plus twice alpha square u bar s equals 0 and its solution is nothing but u bar s equals a e power minus twice alpha square t. So, you are converting the p d e into o d e using the Fourier sign transform. Now, you have to find out the value of the constant a. To find out the value of the constant a at t equals 0, what is the value of u bar s alpha 0 that we are finding out. From the definition, you can write down u bar s alpha 0 equals this integral 0 to infinity u x 0 sin alpha x d x and in the problem it is provided that u x 0 is e power minus x. So, I am replacing e power minus x then just uh, integrate it the because e power minus a x sin b x format. So, direct results I can put and once I am putting the limiting values of x from 0 to infinity ultimately I will obtain root over 2 by pi into alpha by 1 plus alpha square. So, once I am obtaining this if I put in the last equation I can obtain the value of a as root over 2 by pi alpha by 1 plus alpha square. So, that u bar s you can write down. So, that using inversion u x t will be equals to 2 by pi because root over 2 by pi is coming twice. So, it will be 2 by pi 0 to infinity alpha by 1 plus alpha square e power minus twice alpha square t into sin of alpha x d alpha.